Howdy legends, Bailey here from Outback Equipment. Today we're down at Bushwhacker. About to go get some stuff done to the shop ranger. So let's check it out. Guys are already busy getting the ranger tear down, ready for the awning. We'll go meet Jace, see what's happening. Hey, hey mate, Jace. How are you? Good mate, how are you? Good mate, welcome to Bushwhacker HQ. Cheers, thanks for having us down here, working on the ranger for us. Oh, mate, we're really impressed. This ranger, the, um, the Outback Equipment Ranger is really impressive, mate. Yeah. So guys, we'll take you what take you through what we're doing for Outback Equipment today. So this truck's getting ready for a bit of an adventure, um, and Outback Equipment reached out, and we're very, very happy to, and proud to be involved. So today we're fitting up the Extreme Darkness 270 Plus and the shower room suite. Sweet. Keen to get it on the car. Oh, absolutely, man. It'll keep you guys, well, out of the weather, in the shade, and clean in the shower. <laughs> Beautiful, okay. love it. Guys, we've stepped into the showroom now so we can check one of the extreme darknesses up close. Jason's gonna run us through some of the key features and see what we're getting on the Ranger. This is the extreme darkness, or, or what people know as the 270 plus. What makes it different to your normal 270 is that it is a complete wrap around. So this would normally be the back of your vehicle around your canopy. Yep. Comes right the way forward, past the A pillar, all the way through to the awesome. very front of the car offering maximum weather protection maximum coverage out of the sun. Perfect, so it's perfect for those guys with a dual cab that can really stretch forward over the whole car, hey? Oh, absolutely, man, even going beyond the dual cab, you know, right down to your, we've, we're doing a lot at the moment for the new 300s. Yep. Um, you know, even down as little as a Isuzu MUX. So it will accommodate awesome. a, pretty much a very universal fitment. Awesome, so you really got something for everyone with these setups, hey? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're trying, we've tried to cover a, you know, meet everyone's requirements, and that's what this industry is all about. Everyone's got different setups, different heights, different vehicles. Definitely. So, and this pretty much is what I call our universal baby. It'll do every job. Awesome. And you're really going above and beyond with the quality that you guys are doing to hook everyone up with a awning that's going to last a lifetime, hey? Yeah, for sure. Look, um, I mean, there's been a lot of research going to these. We've we've developed um, in the last probably the last 12 months a product called the Endo Frame which is attached to the backing plate that mounts to your car. What this frame does is actually give it a lot of integrity, which is where we get our freestanding reputation from. Of course. The endoframe's designed to give an additional amount of flexibility while maintaining strength. It takes the rigidness out and gives you, you know, the ability to cope with winds, rain, etc. Chase, one of my favorite features over here. Just run us through what we got in the awning. Bailey, this is special to the darkness only. Okay, so it's two recessed LED strip lights. Okay, run back to a 12 volt socket. All awesome. right, just fire a detachable power lead. Um, one thing we love about this, it probably, uh, it goes against the term darkness. The term darkness is the complete wraparound. <laughs> exactly. So we decided to make it special to this model by putting some orange kitchen lighting or anti-insect lighting. Perfect. Um, or second option, white. Lighting. Awesome. That's really good light. Um, yeah, it's great for night times. Yeah, it'd be great for when you pull up late night on the side of the road as well, trying to set up and you've got a couple of lights handy, hey? Absolutely, mate. Yeah. And as you can see, it's very, very simple to, to, to set up. You just run it back straight back to a 12 volt socket and away you go. Awesome. Love it. So we've jumped back over here. The guys have been working hard. We've got the rooftop off the car and we're just going to run through what we've been doing over here. We've utilised our own in-house T-bracket. It's designed specifically for the platform racks. It's heavy duty. And we've incorporated this to fit onto the actual rooftop tents factory crossbars. It's gonna provide integrity and strength, particularly when you're traveling, mate. Perfect, and I guess what the important thing here is we've made it work with the rooftop tent. Exactly. Super versatile, so anyone can mount it up with a, their rooftop, hey? Look, absolutely, mate, and that's what it's all about. This is what fitting really is. It's cool. making things fit on a universal, basically a universal project. Awesome, so anyone can fit up themselves, but you guys can fit it down here as well. I think that's important, so the guys down here at Bushwhacker can help you out with whatever you need. Absolutely, give us a call. Hey guys, just a quick one. When you're um, about to install your awning, once you've got it laying on its face, just check your, your hinge bolts that come through the back. So on this particular darkness, we've got two hinge plates either side. Just nip them up, make sure they're nice and tight, and then just get into a habit of, before, uh, say every second or third use, just go around and check all your fixtures. Um, obviously they can with corrugations and things like that. Uh, just make sure you nip them up. When it's time to actually lift the awning up and install it on the brackets, 
We basically just want to work out our overhang here so that we actually clear that rooftop at the back. So I've already done a pre-measurement before, but I pretty much just want to find the center of the bracket and then just kind of work out exactly where it's going to be. On this occasion, it's going to be uh, 300 mil, which is a little bit more than what we like to see. But since we've gone to our endo frame and built-in backing plate, there's 60 mil that runs the entire length of the awning, so no more flexing. We'll get the bolts in place and then we'll lift her up. Alrighty guys, now we've got the extreme darkness on the Ranger. We're gonna run you through, open up, pack up, just because it's a little bit different to your traditional 270 degree awnings. So first off, we're just gonna swing around, grab the zip and unzip that bag. We're gonna start off by flipping the bag over the back of the awning, exposing those three Velcro straps that we're just gonna undo now. Next off, we're gonna grab the front portion of the awning, swing it around to the front of the car, grab that handy ratchet strap and attach that one on, making sure not to do it up too firm just yet. Then we're gonna swing around to the back of the car, do the same thing, run it all the way around and grab that second prepared ratchet strap. So once that one's on, we're gonna tighten it all up, make sure the awning is super firm. Perfect guys, well it's all set up now. Now obviously this is a completely freestanding awning, but if you are experiencing a little bit of wind, we do suggest that you set up the included pole. So it's as simple as popping it down. Extend out your leg, just like that. Now, if you are experiencing a little bit more crazy weather, we do recommend moving the pole around to where it suits. You can add it to any one of the poles around the vehicle, but if you are experiencing a little bit more weather, you are able to purchase extra poles just in case. So some of the key features that we found that we love about these awnings is the ability to open up your canopy door and we won't have any of the poles interfering here. So as you can see, it stops clear of the canopy door, no interference with the awning whatsoever. And we've gone to the liberty of installing some more wiring as well. So that hooks straight into the included lights. So I'll simply plug these ones in. And as you saw early in the video, straight on with the bicolored lights. So guys, a feature that we love about the Extreme 270 darkness is this extra piece up the front. So your traditional 270 awning is gonna stop right about here. With this one, you've got the whole span up the front here. You're able to get into the car, you're able to cook on your surface here and you're not gonna get the weather coming in from the side. So another great feature with the Bushwhacker awnings is the included ratchets. Super easy to use, super strong. All you have to do is come across to your canopy wherever you can hook it on, through there. Tighten it just like that. And we also recommend hooking it from the bottom side up just for your smaller folk like Sean so you're able to see the mechanism right there. So as you can see guys, this is a huge awning, some great features, super easy setup, pack up, and just an all round exceptional awning. All right, now we've had a look, let's head back over to Jason and the Bushwhacker crew and we'll wrap things up. Jason, all hooked up, looks great. Cheers to the guys, cheers to you for getting us down here. Appreciate it. Can't Mate, wait to get out and use it. We are thrilled. To everyone at Outback Equipment, thank you very, very much. Um, and we can't wait to see the content you guys are going to build around this. Perfect. Appreciate it. Cheers, Thank guys. You. Cheers. Guys, if you like this one, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.